So, you've been arrested, now you're here. This is what will happen next. Firstly, make sure you tell the police officer looking after you if you have any medical needs. This is important as they need to know if you might need any treatment or medication whilst you're in custody. You are in a safe place. If something is worrying you, just speak to someone about it. If you are a girl, you can ask to speak to a female member of staff if you want to. Your parent or carer will be notified that you are at the police station. If you have any items with you, they may be taken from you while you are here. The police will keep these safe and you may get them back when you are released or they could be kept as evidence. So after you have been searched, the police may need to take some evidence from you. You may need to have your photo taken, your height measured, a sample of DNA taken and your fingerprint scanned. The DNA will usually be a mouth swab. You may be asked to stay in a cell. You will not share a cell with anyone else. If you are put in a cell, make sure that the police know about your medical needs and if you need any medication. You can ask for a shower and exercise and you'll be offered food. When in the cell, you can ask for a drink or something to eat. You can also ask for toilet roll if you need it as it isn't kept in the cell when you arrive. If you have any religious needs, such as a religious book or a prayer mat, then you can also ask for help with this. There is a two-way intercom that is always monitored. If you need to use the toilet in the cell, the camera allows you some privacy. You can ask at any time to talk to a solicitor and this will be done privately in a consultation room before you are interviewed. Police will find an appropriate adult to help you understand everything and if you are interviewed, they will stay with you in the interview. This can be a parent, carer, a family member who is over 18 or someone from the youth offending team. The solicitor will help you understand any legal words and can give you advice and can also sit in the interview with you. If you answer no comment, the police will still ask you all of their questions. You can ask for a break during the interview if you need it. After the interview, you'll be taken back to your cell whilst the police make a decision. This can take anything from two to three hours, but maybe up to 24 hours. What might happen next? You may be charged, given a court date. On rare occasions, you might be found somewhere to stay and taken to court the next morning. If you are not charged, then you will be released and the police might continue to investigate. You will be told when the investigation is complete and no further action is being taken. Before you leave, the police officer will make sure you are safe. You'll be given your property back and this is being kept for evidence. The police officer and an appropriate adult will then discuss your plans for getting home and can offer help with this.